3D Ice Cream Truck Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you a extreme 3D ice cream truck design that's very pink and purple and blue. It's very pastel and just summery and cute. I hope you like it as much as I do and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So to begin this design, I went back and forth on a background color and I knew that I wanted this design to be blue, purple, and pink. I didn't know which one I wanted to be the truck and you know, so on and so forth. So I went with blue for the background and then I'm going to encase that with a layer of clear acrylic to make sure that it is nice and strong. That initial layer is simply for color. If you want to sculpt the whole nail with a color acrylic that you know is strong enough because there have been several actually that have been um, coming out recently that really don't need to be capped, you could definitely do that as well. And then I'm going to file the nail into shape with my e-file to make sure that it is nice and beautifully smooth with beautiful, I say beautiful a lot, um, with uh, a perfect apex in it. And I say perfect and I don't want anybody to get the impression that nails need to be perfect and flawless. There's a lot of nail shaming in the nail community uh, more and more with social media running rampant and I don't want anybody to ever feel like everything needs to be perfect and flawless and all of that great stuff. Obviously, you know, you want to strive to be as smooth and even as possible and symmetrical and everything, but perfection is impossible. So to keep yourself to that standard is just going to cause you a headache. So just a little side note there. I just wanted to <laughs> add my two cents on that matter. But then on a nail form backing, we're going to start sculpting in our adorable little ice cream truck. So like I said, I wanted this to be purples, pinks, and blues. I love that color combination just in general. And since I used blue for my background, I decided to go with a variety of pinks for the truck. So the first pink I used is like your classic Barbie pink. And I'm going to sculpt the base shape of an ice cream truck. So an ice cream truck is a very boxy looking, very boxy looking truck. It's got the front of the trunk that comes out where the engine is and then it has the two wheel wells but other than that it's pretty much a rectangle so that's easy to sculpt if you're just kind of getting into it something more delicate looking like if you were to say sculpting a muscle car would have a lot more very intricate little curves into it that you'd have to work a bit more work a bit more on to make sure it looks like what you're going for but then after that I took a lighter pink and I'm going to be adding some trim to both the top and the bottom of the of the truck so it's such a various um, such a slightly varied color of pink so you can't really tell immediately that there's this trim on there but it does just give a finished look to the truck so then after I have that I'm going to take that same light pink and it looks a little bit more obviously like it's a different color there but at first I don't even hardly notice it because those trim pieces were just so skinny and I'm going to be adding the door to my truck so because there's not really that much detail to an ice cream truck like I said very boxy you get to add a couple more fun details because you do want there to be a little more interest into the shape of it. So like a different colored door is kind of fun. And then you also need to have the rectangle window for where you would hand the ice cream through in the ordering window. So just a black rectangle for that. Everything about this design is rectangles and squares and easy shapes for the most part. So then you got the rectangle um, shape there. And if you don't want to sculpt that with black acrylic, you could definitely paint it with a gel paint, gel polish, or acrylic paint if you're more comfortable with that. And then a very, very skinny white rectangle underneath the black rectangle. That's going to be what you can think of as like the ordering board. Now, you guys are gonna say, I don't know why you didn't do this, but I did not paint individual little orderable ice creams underneath the window like you would actually see on an ice cream truck where there'd be a menu. That's just a little too small. And I <laughs> and then the reason I say that you guys are gonna say I'm crazy is because typically my first go-to thought would be, well, let's make this exactly what it's supposed to be. but that's just a little overboard. So I went with just painting the word ice cream or the words ice cream underneath the window. Even that is crazy small. So if you guys want to skip that step, go for it. It's kind of a ridiculous thing to even try. I think I did two times, two takes at it to get it to actually say ice cream and fit the whole thing in there. So also with black, we're going to be adding the wheels and the window on the door and the windshield. So there's a little black window on the door and same thing with the, um, the different windows. If you'd rather paint those in, you can go ahead and do that. You might actually want to so that there isn't a lip on it because if you sculpt something with acrylic, there's going to be added depth or if you do a paint of any variety, it's not going to have that thickness to it. So it's up to you, whichever way you want to go. If you do sculpt it with acrylic, make sure it is incredibly thin. Then you're also going to want to add the headlights and then just next to the truck, 
you're going to want to sculpt the ice cream cone. And the reason I say next to the truck and not on top of the truck is it's just easier to get crisp lines without it touching the truck at this particular point, even though very soon you're going to glue the ice cream cone to the truck. It may seem like it'd be easier to just sculpt on the truck instead of sculpting it separately and gluing it on. But for me, just to get those lines really crisp looking, I decided to do them separately. So there's the cone with like a tan. And then again, next to the truck, we're going to be sculpting the awning that is over the window, the ordering window. If you're assuming that this is a hot day, that this ice cream truck would be out and about, which I would, otherwise you won't want ice cream, at least if you're anybody but Melody who wants ice cream every single day for every single meal, except for breakfast when she wants to eat Cheetos, because that's apparently how she rolls. Um, you're probably going to assume it's a hot sunny day. So a nice awning over the window would be a welcomed addition to this truck so I decided to do that with white so the first shape once again surprise surprise we're gonna be doing a rectangle that's for the main part of the awning but then typically the awnings have that little piece that hangs down to block a bit more light so for that we're going to start by sculpting a long rectangle and then I just pushed my brush up from one side to create a little scalloped type of pattern and then on my ice cream cone, I'm going to be taking purple acrylic which is where that third color comes into play and I'm going to be adding the actual ice cream so I don't know what flavor purple ice cream would be, but I just thought that would be fun. If it was pink, it'd probably be strawberry, but I don't usually do things the typical way. So purple is the way I went with it. So then we're going to be gluing everything together and assembling our adorable little ice cream truck. I started by gluing my awning onto the front of it. So I first that rectangle that goes over the top of the window and then that little piece that hangs down from the rectangle glue both those together a tweezers is a super handy very recommended tool for this job or if you're like me I'm gonna use two tweezers because two is better than one in this circumstance then glue the ice cream to the top and then glue the truck to the nail after that truck is glued in place on the nail then I would go through and secure everything together so I'm going to take some more white acrylic and make sure that that awning is 100% perfectly attached and so you're going to just basically finish off the seam where the awning attaches to the truck and where the two pieces of the awning are glued together. That little bit of extra acrylic is going to make a world of difference in the stability of this nail. And then behind the truck, so it really attaches to the nail nicely, we're going to be filling in those little gaps with clear acrylic. And you don't have to fill them in solid because that would be very heavy, but just a nice thin little layer behind it all makes, a, like I said, it makes a big difference on making sure that this nail is sturdy. So now I'm going to be working with acrylic paint and adding all kinds of details to my adorable little ice cream truck. If you'd rather work with gel paint, go ahead. If you'd rather work with gel polish, which is probably the least controllable option of the three, then you can do that too. So it's basically whatever your preference is. And there is certain times and places where I do use one over the other, but definitely painting little details on top of acrylic work, I'm always for acrylic paint. And that's personal preference, so it can kind of do what you want with that. But you're going to add the little um, crisscrossy pattern on the ice cream cone, some highlights on the ice cream itself. Ice cream always, I really highlight because it's typically kind of wet looking if it's starting to melt. And so it has some really nice highlights on it. And then on the awning of my little ice cream truck, I'm going to be adding some pale blue and white stripes to give it just a bit more of that iconic ice cream truck look. If you want to know different looks of ice cream trucks, you can certainly look them up. If you find modern ice cream trucks, they're typically covered in pictures of various types of products that they sell. And that wasn't kind of the vibe that I wanted to have for my ice cream truck. I want it to be more of a retro feel. And so if you want that, I would recommend adding the word clip art to your search or even the word retro to try to find some more of this classic, feel good looking ice cream trucks. So then just go through and add black outlines wherever you feel like you need them. I would recommend outlining the door of the ice cream truck, but not much else. It doesn't really need it. And then add a little bit of gray inside the wheels for the rims, or inside the tires for the rims, a door handle, a couple black outlines, just wherever you feel like there needs to be a bit more definition, some yellow on the headlight to make it a bit brighter. Whenever you're doing these outlines, you can kind of take it as far as you want or leave it simple. And then within that little space where you'd have the ordering menu, I'm going to be just writing the words ice cream like I mentioned before, but it is so teeny tiny that 
it is a very big struggle to write the whole thing ice cream in there so if you want to just skip that part that's definitely an option then apply a layer of gel sealer over the background and cure it to make sure that that background is so nice and shiny and then some matte top coat over the 3d truck and that is it i love this it's so cute and so summery and i love the color palette i hope you guys like it as much as i do and please take me in any recreations on facebook or instagram i'd love to see them and i will see you next time bye